Today I'll be breaking down some more pin apart. I know this is going to sound really obvious, but sometimes it's the most obvious things that get overlooked first. This isn't going to be an anatomy breakdown, there's plenty of good videos that talk about that, plenty of videos that do that better than I could. But what I don't see a lot when I'm searching for stuff on YouTube is how to think about what you're working on. So today I'm going to try to break things down in a different kind of way using some of my old pinup art. Hopefully it's in good enough taste where I don't get in any trouble. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Before you begin, it's important to try to visualize what it is you're trying to achieve in your head. There will be a direct correlation between how well you can visualize it in your mind and how well it comes out on paper. This is important even if you're using photo reference. That way you can think of modifications you might need to make. Also, if you're using a photo reference, take a minute to just look at it, observe it. Try to pay attention to the angles that the body is being positioned and where the weight is. Just knowing these things and having them in your mind as you draw will help you achieve a more realistic render. Pay attention to parts of the body that have compression or that are elongated or where the center of gravity may be. Just having these things in the back of your mind really do help. In anatomy, parts of the body can generally be categorized as either rigid or soft. And just keeping those words in your mind as you work will help you achieve the effect that you're going for. In that minute of observation, that would be the time to start to classify parts of the body. When it comes to faces, I try to make sure it's balanced and symmetrical as possible. But I also don't focus on the features themselves. I try to focus more so on the shadows the features would cast. And with that in mind, I also try to imagine as if the lighting is a little overexposed around the face. Overexposing the lighting minimizes some of the wrinkles and details, which will make your pinups look younger and softer. Just like the body as a whole, the hands and the face, aside from being very expressive, are made up of either rigid components or soft and squishy components. So really try to think of where is this categorized. For example, a chin versus a cheek. Though they're connected, they have a totally different structural makeup. I know you want to get to the fun parts of dressing your pinup and giving them attitude and expression and all that, but really take the time to observe what it is you're doing, whether it be from a reference or in your mind's eye. A little bit of pregame goes a long way. Uh, my art personally didn't start improving until I spent a little bit less time drawing and a little bit more time thinking about what I was going to draw as well as observing my references. If you have any questions or there's a topic you'd like for me to tackle, feel free to comment below. If you'd like to support this channel, you can subscribe or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Blackfly Press. Tell a friend, and if you'd like to buy some of our books, you can check them out at our Gumroad store. Links for everything is down below. Thanks.